Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're gonna talk about the Firebase Studio. What is Firebase Studio which has been released from the Google? As you know that Firebase is the already product of Google which is in the industry from the larger like for the longer time. So we're gonna talk about this. What is a Firebase Studio? Like as you can see the landing page looks really good. Basically the full stack AI workspace where you can build your full stack uh, you know apps with the help of like like as you mentioned that firebase studio isolate your entire development life cycle with ai agents build backends front end and mobile apps all in one place with the help of just firebase studio and this is a landing page which has a really really good animations and on the hood they are all using the zemini model api and this is a landing page uh, which looks really good okay so let's talk about the feature of this firebase studio but before jumping about the features, we're gonna talk about uh, one tool like which has been earlier in the market. Name is a product IDX. Product IDX, which is like introduced from the Google's uh, project IDX. I think I had already created one video last year, and it was released on Google I/O Connect last year. Okay, so project uh, project IDX is now become a Firebase Studio, and you know you know in the market we have called Bold, Lovable, and many more other tools. So to compete with that tools, Firebase Studio, like basically Google come up with something new idea, name it the Firebase Studio. With the help of Firebase Studio, just click on this try Firebase Studio button. Once you click on this, you will went to the, this next screen. Here, like as we do, uh, as you do, like you know, in the lovable or maybe in the bold, like maybe uh, an app. So if I just an app that helps me plan my day, or maybe an app. Uh, build an expense tracker app so as you do uh, like prompting on our lovable or bold the same way in the fabric studio you have to first of all do login and after that you can define up like up the project name like build an expense tracker app okay and once you click on this prototype with ai so what is going to do it will create a prototype of your projects like basically like whole so they're going to use the gemini model under the hood and the first like come up with that idea uh, we're gonna use this 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 there's all the ideas or there's all the things which we are gonna use it okay so it's kind of doing loading and as you know that like some like this this has already a tons of load on the browser so that's why maybe it's taking some time so let's wait for some few minutes okay also let's talk about some more cool features about the Firebase studio as earlier I mentioned you about the uh, you know project, project idx inside the project idx we are able to like like we are able to use android studio react native flutter and many more tools uh, on the browser so to open the fab studio let me do start from again from the beginning so first of all uh, you have to go to the browser and search on the google firebase studio okay once you hit a firebase studio my bad it should be firebase studio after that click on this the first link or the maybe second link Firebase Studio. I think second link not the first link when you click on the first link click on this one try Firebase Studio now okay, all right now after this you can see uh, you can create a new workspace as well like as you know as you if you know about the code sandbox so where you can create a, like a wave projects uh, angular next years astro react simple stimulus world you can also create with the backend projects like with the Go, Python, Java, .NET, Node Express. You don't have to do any setup on your local machine. You can just code your full stack application on the web. And like these features all were already done in the project IDX. Just they had come up with that something new name. Also, they have like you can run Android Studio on cloud. So if you have a like very low RAM in your PC and wanted to run uh, Android Studio, so you can easily run this as well. Flirt the React Native Expo also like if you're from the web background so you guys can check it out the react Native expo and if you're from the use like if you're from the ai and ml background so you can check out the gemini api chan case lang chan and also the databases miscellaneous is there okay now let's click on this okay so we're gonna go back here and here we're gonna direct uh, we're gonna uh, tell our, we're gonna just write a prompt uh, can you create a an app where Basically, can you create a, a wallpaper app, wallpaper app, where user you will see the list of wallpapers, okay, and download the wallpapers. That's it. Now, after that, let's try with the prototype with AI. 
so as you know that like currently they have a like a really good number of traffic on the firebase studio and maybe that's why they are lagging somewhere but yeah now it's working and under the hood they are using okay so you can see that they first they will come up with the prototype uh can you add more feature here so they had defined like wallpaper listing this display a correct quality list of high quality wallpapers enables users to preview in full screen allow users to download these are the like features they had a suggestion and this is the color they're going to use this primary color secondary color icon of coffee and layout animations can you add more features so if we can like you know just first we define the you know uh, the project is scope and after that we click on this button prototype this app so what they're going to do they're going to use this a lot of things like they're going to use the gemini under the hood and, uh, and like they have set up of gemini model as well so you can see that this is like similar to the lovable and bold they are doing that way but it's you can see how quick how fast is it okay so let's check it out and let's see does it really help uh, to do or not but yeah i see like you know in the first core it has a some server issue like you know it, you know in the earlier the video it was not able to generate that video but let's hope like it's really working or not and parallelly let's try with the bold as well so i'm going to just open the bold and we're going to comparison between the do the lovable and bold okay so as you can see that it's generated the wallpaper that's really great and we can like if you wanted to add a gemini api key you can add that as well and here if you click on this image preview okay we can preview the image as well and let's click on this open in the next browser page if you click on download nothing works but i just open it here let's click on download preview button is not working it sucks man but yeah it's responsive but it's the preview image is not clickable download image is not clickable so but let's talk with the bold one okay i will just tell that create and wallpaper wallpaper app and i will just enhance the prompt so they were just enhancing the prompt and after that they had written some stuffs and now i think like fabes studio is not that good at the comparison of bold but i can't tell you that it's really good or not let's try and see the result so this is the this is the ui looks where if i hit blue and suggest wallpapers so i think they had come up with the like color preference with the gemini model but i'm not into that interested so we can ignore that now let's go to the bold and let's try like it does which one is going to be really better one and I, oh god this this is using expo bro don't use expo bro 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 uh, okay let's no problem i think it's using the expo i'm going to go back to the bold start new chart leave start new chart and create a uh, an wallpaper app enhance the prompt okay and i will just tell them to pro do in x do in rex just not in expo okay and like last time we are doing in expo do in next js okay let's check it out now in the parallelly i would not try with the lovable as well so i will just open the lovable so let me do with the sign in with google quickly let me open choose my email okay and yeah i generally feel like uh lovable is better than but yeah, let's check it out like build a what build a wallpaper wallpaper app okay just hit enter and let's check it out this is also creating this is the result of firebase uh, studio and now I, i want to see this code okay now if you want to see this code base how this code base looks like you can see this button called edit the code you can click on this edit the code okay so what is going to do is just open this project on the firebase studio so you can click on source app is there and inside this package.json let's check out the packages what they are using they are using redux ui i they are using redux ui i think redux is similar to the react hook form sorry redux is similar to the uh, what do you call hmm okay no problem so you can see this is the how uh, id looks like of this firebase studio so you know just to market this stuff to just add on one feature uh, basically you can form that and they will like define they will create a project and after that it's just a ui of project id this is the whole feature of the project idx now again let me go to the firebase studio click on try firebase studio and there were some more tons of features like 
let's suppose uh, click on new workspace i want to try with the react native expo let's click on the mobile let's click on this react native expo and nothing is demo yt something like this and we're going to try with expo go click on create so last time i tried with my audience and this was not able to get the projects but yeah let's figure out the bold projects oh my goodness oh my goodness man this is looking crazy bold is like next level i really feel this is this is crazy man this is insane how's this looking man like you can click on download you can click on minimum wallpapers abstract this is this is the wallpaper this is what i want it to be this is good this is re- really good man trending new this is the wallpaper app so i love the a uh, design of bold and the uh, user experience even the like resp- let's take a look the responsiveness so i just click on the responsiveness yeah it's responsive as well interesting let's check out let's talk about the lovable minimal yeah i think uh, bold is better than the fabes studio they are still in like really beat them this is this is not with the modern ui this is not matching with the modern ui okay now I just created one demo YT app, so setting up the workspace. Last time they had also in, in this phase in slicing environment, and after that it doesn't went to the next step. So you guys can explore this Fabes Studio, but I generally feel Fabes Studio sucks. In the like, if I click on mobile and if I click on this use Android Studio Cloud, and hey, something like this. If I click on create. This is still in experimental mode and oh interesting now our expo project has been created guys if you are from web background like if you from the mobile you guys can now code your mobile apps on the on the browser that's interesting uh, last time it was not working that well but this time is crazy it's crazy man oh man oh man this is the crazy so generally i feel mm, the composition of bold fabes studio like which ranks on the number 1 lovable ranks on the number 1 like this is crazy man this is a full stack project this is crazy this is lovable is next level man this is literally crazy i had not expected this one this is crazy look at this ui man look at this ui okay and now if i click on this neon city in the new tab it open the new tab and here you can click on download wallpaper and it works it works man click on favorite it will click on add to the favorite click on share the link has been copied and and look at this man this is opening a share icon as well oh that's crazy back is all button is also working wow this is awesome let's click on feature wallpaper art abstract landscape Everything is working pixel perfect. Everything is working sci-fi, cyberpunk. This is the coding. This is the vibe coding, man. This is insane. This is insane. Okay, let's back to the topic. So yeah, here we go. So here we can let's create an expert project as well. So also this is the like you can uh, run the Android Studio on the browser. Like if you want to create a new project, maybe an NPT activity next. just feeling like something it's giving vibe of you know something which i'm using from a virtual machine uh, kind of image this is the giving a vibe of like a basically a low quality video streaming kind of stuff so you can see our project has been created on the uh, on the browser and here we can see a copy paste something feature is there and the cradle build is happening okay all right this is interesting I think you guys can check it out this all the stuffs and maybe like parallelly like in ride where uh this is crazy man this is awesome I I would say like if you just started like learning the mobile app development and wanted to build uh, some crazy apps uh you know if you have like really a low space uh you know low space of uh what do you call low space of uh you know ram so you guys can check it out this ex this check it out this code base like this is awesome like you guys can check it out the fabes studio and i would say like if you wanted to build something like vibe coding or the composition bold and lovable 
it is not that better it's still in the beta mode and it's not giving a result that good okay but if you want to do like if you wanted the fe- use the feature of project idx basically uh, coding on the browser like setting up the uh, like you know running the code on android studio on the pro cloud that could be a uh, one thing for you guys but yeah that's all in this video guys and yeah i feel fab s studio uh, really needs some more improvements it they are doing good but still there needs to be like tons of improvements let me know what is your thoughts on this guys thank you bye